Sure. Call to order the Paisley City Council regular meeting Monday, August 13, 2018, 6 p.m. Paisley Rec Center. Pledge of Allegiance, Chief, do you mind leaving? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chief, work call the roll, please. Tim. Sean. Here. Patricia, here. Bo, here. Sarah, here. And David. I've just got a couple of announcements to make. <coughs> I would like for all of us to wish uh, Councilman Sean Thompson a happy <coughs> birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mr. McClure went to a regional transportation meeting this morning at the Big Sandy Ad, and we got some positive news about 1428. Yes. So we just got to keep harping, aggravating who we have to aggravate, call them every day. If you know anybody that's got any clout, if that's what you want to call it, call them. Let's get 1428 open back up. But we did get some positive news this morning. That's good news. Was it real positive? Was it like we're going to do it? It's a temporary positive. fix. Is it, yeah. Still in order? It's going to be either or, or maybe both. A <laughs> <laughs> meeting to the old. Uh, it's either going to be temporary, permanent, or temporary, leading the permanent. But so, it is going to be fixed. So we need to get on the, our Senator Brandon Smith. Thing. You need to get on representatives, people and running for representative, okay. senators, or whoever you can get on to, and let's get that thing open back up. That's a that's a main thoroughway for Paintsville. All right, moving on. Need a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting July 9, 2018, special call meeting on August 2nd, 2018. I make the motion. I say no, uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Approval of Department of Courts. I make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approval to pay the bills as presented. I'll, I'll make that motion then we Pay the bill, I ask for Senate. I'll say. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? I'm going too fast for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to business. Uh, we need to set our motor, uh, motor vehicle and watercraft property tax rate for 2019. It's the same as it was last year. There's no decline or no raise in it. So we just need to approve that. Just curious. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I uh, just want to uh, ask, just so you know, when is the last time that we actually raised? I don't. I mean, it's been you know ten plus years ago. I just wanted you know, the general public to know that we have raised taxes on ten years at least. No, we haven't. So. You're exactly right. I'll second Sarah's motion. I think she was making the approved, maintain the same rate. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We also need approval to advertise a GMC garbage truck for sale. It's a 1999 old garbage truck that we haven't used in years. We don't even use it. Don't even all. use it at all. And I'm assuming Joe's wanting to surplus it, right, Miss Murphy? Yes. He's wanting to surplus that vehicle. Let's get rid of it. Let's make a motion. Thank you. Just sitting there. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We need to reappoint members, not member, but members to the Paintsville Tourism Commission. Really? Yes, we do. Terms are up and they need to be reappointed. And according to Mr. Johnson, 
our director, he wants to reappoint. You want to do them all at once? You want to do them one at a time? Just do them all at once. Sarah, sure you want to do them one at a time or all at once? Is that, is that proper procedure? Or I guess we kind of have it. What do you say? Okay. Okay, we'll do them one at a time. Will this be a three-year term? Well, now those terms are staggered. Now you got to remember, some are three, some are two, some are one. Well, which ones are these two? Well, now, I don't know the years, but I know where they're coming from. I know what they're appointed as. Mr. Johnson can can tell you about the years if he's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's give us those lines. Okay. First one is K. Hall. I make a motion to keep K. Hall on the board. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Second one is Mike Short. I make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Third one is Jerry Daniel. You didn't say three, did you? <laughs> you said members. Members. Okay. Let me no. give you a number. I'll make the motion. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed. Fourth one, and it's the only it's the only recommendation I got from Chamber of Commerce. This is the letter I got. Is Mr. Bobby McCool from Chamber. Well I'll go I'll go, I'll do that, but I don't know how long he can stay. See, that's what I was getting asked. I mean, you know, if he I, wins, then. yeah. I mean, is that gonna? I wish Josh was here. No, I think he could stay on it. Council, I mean, he could stay on. Well, I mean, I know he could. Council, yeah, but could he? Could he attend stay. the meetings? I don't know. Really or not. If that I don't think cross that bridge when you get there, if he didn't win, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I don't know if it's private, mutually exclusive or not. Well, I'll second the motion that's already been made. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So all four were approved. And I and I will say, I think they've done a pretty good job. They have done a good job. And, we, you know, we did cut into their budget. Yeah. And and I still, I'm still in, in line with that because I think it's important that we do some things with it, with the recreation, and that they do what they do. But I think they've done a good job. As a matter of fact, I think most if not all of our civic organizations are doing a much better job at, uh, <coughs> at doing what they need to be done. I think the public's more informed with them on that. I think they are too, Miss Sarah. Okay, well, well, you, I'm going to make the motion go into executive session and then you're going to explain to them. Yeah, that this be to discuss potential acquisition or sale of real property pursuant to KRS 61.810 subsection B and proposed uh, litigation pursuant to KRS 61.810 subsection C. I need a motion to go into executive session. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We'll see y'all. We, we won't be long. to return to regular session. Uh, go ahead. How many votes? Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed? Mr. Baldwin, would you like to? Uh, yes, the mayor has requested that uh, the motion be made to uh, grant the mayor authority to enter into the legal services agreement on behalf of the city to retain uh, the law firm the Brian Paul Center out of Duke, Kentucky, Freeman Dazio, out of Birmingham, Alabama, mm -hmm. uh, Birmingham, Alabama, and the Kirk Law Firm here in uh, Paintsville to represent the city of Paintsville with respect to uh, ongoing litigation involving national prescription op opiate litigation and uh, efforts to recover damages on behalf of the city. I made said motion. I'll say. Favor? Uh, uh, <clears throat> Second motion requested is a motion to uh, give the mayor authority to advertise 
for bids for the sale of a parcel of real property <coughs> on Main Street. What's the dimension of that? Uh, 120 feet by depths 20 to 15 feet. Which is adjacent to uh, Dr. Pusey's building where he could have Yes. Looking to uh, sell that property or advertise for bids. I move that we give the uh, mayor the authority to go ahead with uh, to surplus that and to ask for bids for the property and give him the authority to take care of that. I say. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. I'm walking it up to council. The council's got anything. I have one thing. Okay. Um, our next town hall meeting, September the 25th at 6 p.m. at the SIP Theater. September 25th at 6? Yes, sir. At the SIP? Yes, sir. That's our next town hall meeting. And everybody, the public is invited. We, we, we like big crowds. And we can hold a lot of people to SIP, so you're more than welcome to attend. Anything else from council? Yeah, I was going to say something. I'm going to talk to the police chief. Is there any way that we can get more patrols through the through the city? And if it's going to cost gas money, I'll be the first to approve it. It's not going to do with gas money. Okay. Personnel. Is the personnel mean, is what it is? We have two people out on the normal on every well, hill. Okay. And they do a really good job. Oh, I don't doubt that. I know that. You can ask the mayor. I, I showed him the number of CAD calls we, had, we go on. Right. Every month. Yeah, I'm like that, man. I'm just, you know, a lot of people come to me and say they've not seen a police officer drive by the vehicle forever. I mean, by the, by the street. And I'm just, you know, I didn't know how to answer it. I'm just going to ask you about it. I mean, I, I can't imagine if there's not a street in this city that we don't go by. I, there's not a street in the city I don't go by once, once a day. Well, I'm talking more of the evening more than of a day. Yeah, I'm talking I'm about saying. That's yeah. where the more that's where the more scared of is yeah. even the more they are in daylight. I, you know, I, and I know I, you can't cover everything, but I was yeah. told that I had a lot of places. I said I'd ask. Yeah. I will try to up the patrols the best we can with you know when we're answering calls. It's hard to oh yeah you can I understand that and I'm not that bashful. They do a great job. But I just, they just come to you. And I had a yeah. lady call me before we came here. Patty Strickland called, and she is very happy with the the. the, the the things you're doing right now, the patrols you're making, she said they come they come by there pretty often, and she's pleased with it because that property is is across from her as a man. Well, anytime you abandon property, you know what's going to happen. Absolutely. Especially the world that we live in today, you know, if 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 they find a, a vacant house, they want to try to find some way to move into it. I guarantee you. Well, she says the police are making rounds, yeah. and she was she was pleased, so she uh, was happy. I, I will say this, and, and, and Chief may get mad at me, because there's a lot of people mad at me, but uh, he, he, he has made a memo that addresses what you just said, Coach. Okay, well, good. So, he, he, he's on top of that. Okay. Well, I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Yeah. I've had people call, people stop me, and I've told them I asked. Anytime you see me and you need that, then you just stop me. Thank you. You're doing a good job, by the way. Anything else from council? It's going to be your turn. I'm walking into the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Sherry Zilka. I'm the president and CEO at Big Sandy Community and Technical College. And this is my husband, George Magro. We moved here in October from Michigan. So I'm learning my way around, and I'm pleased to hear that road is going to be worked on because one of my first scary experiences with GPS is took me on the road behind Hager Hill <laughs> because that road was closed and the GPS doesn't acknowledge it. So, so I appreciate that too. But I just really wanted to say hello to everyone, and please stop by and visit our campus. We're there. Classes started this week, and we'd really love to see you around the campus. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy the area. We do. Anything else from the floor? With that said, I make a motion. We get I'll second. Adjourn, adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
a vote. We stand adjourned.